Hello, how are you today? Hey, I hope things are going great wherever you are. May the Lord Jesus bless you real good. Hey, let's go into the Word. Let's just read a few verses and let's just um, see what God will say to us today. Okay? Uh, Psalm 19 and verse 1, and it reads, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth His handiwork. Let's read now Psalm 100 and verse 3. Psalm 100, verse 3, and it reads, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Let's also read Psalm 8, just a few verses from Psalm 8. It begins in verse 1, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou hast ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider the heavens, the work of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Amen for verses 1 through 4. And finally, let's read Matthew chapter 6, verses 24 through 27, and it reads, No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which of you by taking thought can add one cubit unto his stature? Amen to God's word. Wow, these are wonderful scriptures. Um, these uh, words uh, from the Bible, from uh, the very mouth of God, through his various servants, uh, are admonishing us, the readers and the hearers, to understand above everything else that God is in control. I can't think of a time more critical in human history than now. With all of the things that are going on, with all of the forces, uh, seemingly forces of nature and and forces of various uh, human uh, endeavors uh, sometimes colliding and sometimes uh, uh, not working at all uh, with, with, with congruity uh, or, or on the same page as it were. Um, but I can't think of a better time to talk about the subject and the fact that God is in control. You know, we're on the East Coast in the Mid-Atlantic region and for the last several weeks dating back to even the last days of autumn, I think around December 18th or 19th, we began to feel and experience uh, the, uh, the effects of winter. We began to experience uh, snowfall and accumulations like we've never had before. It used to be that we could uh, uh, pretty much predict with relative certainty uh, that the mid-Atlantic region was not going to be sort of snowed in and, and plowed under, but that's not the case anymore. By contrast, isn't it interesting now that we're around uh, the early days of February that while preparations are being made in Vancouver, British Columbia for the Olympics, that they're actually having to truck in snow and bring it onto the ski slopes where they normally would have 10 feet of snow, they this year only have around 3 feet of snow. Where we on the mid-Atlantic region may have, uh, you know, an average snow for us is 2 to 4 inches. That That's enough to kind of cripple our region in terms of traffic and whatnot, but um, we actually at this point have an accumulated snowfall uh, in excess of three feet and we even now as we're uh, recording this video we're expecting uh, maybe upwards of a foot or 18 inches maybe another two feet on top of the 26 or 28 inches we just received. So I, I want to just say to you today drawing from these circumstances around me and, and all of you have circumstances and, and situations that you're in. Can I encourage you today to look around and to and to, and to ask the Lord, what are you saying in the midst of my circumstances? Well, what the Lord has given me in the midst of our circumstances is that uh, He is in control. And that we uh, humans, we believe that we can intervene 
in every uh, matter, in every matter of, of nature and of industry and of, and of policy and of uh, politics and economics. We believe that we can intervene and we believe that we can solve any problem. Well, when we put our minds together and if, and if God's favor and His grace is on us, yeah, we can get some things accomplished. You know, we, we do, we're grateful for that. But, but the bottom line of all of it is that God is ultimately in control of everything. And there are times when there's just nothing we can do about it. There are times when we've just simply got to dispense with all of our devices, all of our strategies, all of our thoughts, some, all of our, sometimes even all of our religion. And we think that we can, by our faith, we can just make anything happen. And here the Lord Jesus is saying, who by even taking thought can add a cubit to a stature? I think it's time for us to wake up again. I think it's time for us to wake up and maybe stay up. Maybe we need to do an all-nighter. Maybe we need to just stay awake and say, God, what are you telling us? Well, I believe one of the things he's saying to us, people of God, and whether you're saved, whether you know the Lord, whether you're a believer, or whether you're a skeptic or a scoffer, this warning and this admonition goes out for you as well. God is in control, and there's nothing we can do about it. We need to seek God. We need to seek his face. We need to get before him in prayer. We need to get in his word. We need to get surrounded and in the midst of other believers of like precious faith and faith. And we need to say, God, what are you saying? What are you doing? Hide me in the cleft of the rock. Hold me in the hollow of your hands. We need to realize that God is in control. Yes, I know I've said it three or four times. I'll probably say it a time or two again, but we need to know and we need to act like and we need to respond like we understand that God is in control. We need to seek his face. We need to repent of sin. We need to repent of individual sin, family sin, community sin, national sin, global sin. We need to ask God to be merciful and cause his safe face to shine upon us. Time is not long. We don't know when the day is going to be, but the day of the Lord is approaching. It's getting nearer than when we first believed. And today, we all should be encouraged. We all should be heed this admonition from the words, not from the words of, of my mouth. I'm just a servant, uh, just a co-laborer in the gospel with you. Amen. If you're saved. But today, I feel it impressed heavily upon my heart. And I want to share this sense of urgency and this gravity of this, of this, of this call and of this burden that we need to get on our knees and pray and say, and ask the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to understand out of my circumstances? God, how and what do I need to repent of? Lord, what do I need to submit to you? Lord, what have I been holding back? What have I been endeavoring to do? What agenda of mine have I been endeavoring to force on others, on the world, on you, God? Lord, help me. This should be your prayer today. Lord, help me to understand and to sense what you are doing. Father, would you please place within my life your desires? Lord, give me the desires in my heart. Not my own selfish desires, but Lord, what your will is for me. Lord, would you put that in my heart and then move me. Give me enthusiasm. Give me motivation. Give me the energy and the fortitude, Father, to seek your face in all that I do. May this message be a blessing to you. May the word of God make an impression upon you. And may our hearts and our minds be converted and transformed such that we can please the Lord and such that we can be salt and light in this world. Spread the message, God's in control. control. Spread the message, God is in charge. I'm not even going to edit this video. Yes, I, I'm just going to let it go raw. No edits, no changes. Any word that's misspoken, any mispronunciation, it's going to all go because I want you to get the full sense of how God is pressing this upon my heart. God is in control. You know when God is on your side? When we get on his side. God bless you today in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Get on the Lord's side in the name of Jesus.